GNOME 43 is the upcoming brand new update to the Linux desktop that brings many UI changes, app updates, new wallpapers, and performance improvements to the GNOME shell. Hey guys, it's KS Kiral here. Welcome back to the brand new video. In this video, let's take a quick look at the upcoming release of GNOME 43, which is going to be powered by many Linux distributions. Keep in mind, by the time of recording this video, GNOME 43 is in beta. The features or changes that you are about to see may be included or altered. Now, without further ado, let's get started. When you compare GNOME 43 with the previous release, it may look quite fresh, thanks to the addition of more dynamic wallpapers. Wallpapers are one of the main things that many UI makers forget to include more. With GNOME 43, you will get amazed by the inclusion of these dynamic system wallpapers, which makes your GNOME desktop look much better than ever before. These wallpapers change the look based on the theme you apply. GNOME developers have completely redesigned the quick toggles or system menu from scratch to be more useful, more modern, and versatile. The all-new toggles make it easier when interacting with common settings like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, and more. You can also notice that dark mode and nightlight can be toggled on or off right from here without the need of jumping into settings. This new look appears to be simple and easy to use. By the way, it looks quite similar when compared to Android Hall Control Center. Nautilus is the file manager that ships with the GNOME desktop. The whole application looks fresh and modern with almost every part of the UI improved. Thanks to the perfect integration of GTK4, just like settings, the Nautilus file manager has received dynamic auto layout support. Now this way, when you resize or expand the file manager, it changes the behavior of the application. Now as you can see, this is how Nautilus looks when it runs on a mobile device. Apart from that, right-clicking anywhere inside a file manager gives an option to open the console or terminal. The list view has also improved with more spaces between rows. A new highlight effect is triggered when selecting the items. Take a look at the favorite button. The icon animates when it's clicked. Libadvata is a GTK4 library and building block for modern GNOME applications. Ever since Libadvata has integrated with GNOME 40, the developers have taken the GNOME 43 experience to the next level. All the applications that ship with GNOME 43 have been updated with GTK4 or Libadvata to look much better. Take a look at the calendar which has a new sidebar with a date picker and agenda list. Also, other applications like Calculator, Weather, and Disk Usage Analyzer have followed in the footsteps of the new design language. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, when you click on About of any GNOME application, you get a brand new dialog window. Now inside settings under privacy, you will see a new option called the device security section. It gives you information on the security status of your hardware and firmware. For example, if your device supports UEFI Secure Boot, it shows the status whether it's enabled or disabled. This feature actively warns the user if any security issues with the device are detected. Overall, I would say GNOME 43 is a fantastic update to the Linux desktop which is scheduled for release in mid-September. Now as of now, you can download GNOME OS and install it on GNOME boxes or you can directly run on bare metal. 
Also, Canonical has already started testing GNOME 43 with Ubuntu 22.10, which is scheduled to be released in October. Stay tuned for that, I will be posting a brand new video on Ubuntu 22.10 so soon. And that's pretty much it, if in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up down there. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking the bell button to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will catch you in my next one.